Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jetters done burnt the hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Bugs, and today guys I'm gonna be explaining how rank and everything works as a whole. And let's get straight into the video, guys. Now the first thing you need to know about rank, guys, is the settings. Now the settings, you will not be using the automatic rifle that you've been using in quick play or big team um, battle. You will actually be using the BR-75 battle roy um the battle rifle, which is a burst weapon. There will be no combat sensors that um that will be disabled, you know, a mini map. Um uh, friendly fire is on, so that means not only nades, but also shooting your teammates can kill them. There's no green hit marker as in if you hit somebody with a grenade it won't let you know and then obviously there is weapon spawns everywhere now going straight into the ranks that we have we have six ranks and six tiers in these ranks except the last rank which is onyx and that will be bronze silver gold platinum diamond and onyx and there's going to be six tiers in each and every one of them um, following that there are two rank modes or i should say three ranks modes um in um, Halo, which will be your open queue, which is going to be your 4v4, 3v3 stacks, and all that stuff. And then you have your solo and duo queues, but you also have input choice. As in, if you just want to play with keyboard and mouse players, and you want to play with controller players, I have a weird mixture about this because. What if you just want to solo do a queue with your teammate, but he's controller and your keyboard and mouse, or your controller and keyboard and mouse? Very skeptical and weird, but I guess you do have open, but then again, you're going to go against four stacks, three stacks that are going to have comms, going to be talking to each other, and this game is very team-based, like any other comp game. It's very team-based, so I'm very skeptical about that, but other than that, you actually have three game modes, and you also, you know, have the choice to stay away from the opposite um, input if you don't prefer to play with them. Um, going back into the ranking system, how it works is you have 10 placement games and it's all based off of your performance and wins. Yes, also your performance, as in even if you lose, as long as you do swell, you shouldn't de-rank or you should be placed at a decent um, rank still. Um, going on forward with that, the progress in leveling up in rank is very 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 close minded as in it doesn't really show us or tell us in any way how we really rank up even sometimes when you feel like you did good or did decent um sometimes you won't rank up and you'll just stay staggered which is very weird i really wish they explained this whole bar system with points or something you know at least I, to let me know if i'm doing good or not um uh, also a little quick information will be right here when you're in the multiplayer uh, menu. You hit the R stick, you know, your right stick, or you press G if you're on keyboard and mouse, and it kind of explains to you. Your rank improves uh, when you perform better than expected. So like I said, literally, um, the game sets a requirement, I guess, for you in its own system. And if you, you know, exceed that, it's like, oh, okay, here's your XP, you know, f and you keep leveling up in your ranks. Like I said, it's very skeptical. Um, when you lose, like I said, there's some times where you won't lose any points because you still perform as you should have, just you didn't win the game, which I somewhat like again, but it's, it's very skeptical. I feel like they might need to rework this a little bit. Other than that, I really do love it. It's really grindy. I'm Diamond 2, right? And I, I felt like I was going to hit the max rank pretty fast, but like I said, there's some times where you will win, but because you didn't perform as expect or you didn't over over perform as expected that you don't move so it's like a it's like a yes and no grind to me but still grindy still fun and i think that's pretty much it that i have to say about rank and everything that we need to know also you get you know when you hit a rank you get the cool customization i could find it real quick for you all <laughs> i'm throwing the bag right now i think it's right here Nope, I threw it. I think it's only on the weapons, though. Yeah, it's only on the weapons for some reason. Why is it only on weapons? I don't know. But yeah, once you get your certain rank, you um, put a, get to put an emblem on it. Why is it only this? I don't know. I should definitely be able to put like a profile picture or something that shows it too. Uh, yeah. That's pretty much it for rank and everything you need to know about rank in Halo Infinite. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, guys. Leave a like if you did. Comment about anything. If I miss anything, too. I don't think I did. And don't forget to subscribe button guys. I'm out. Peace. Yeah, she got a man, she don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole nother state. Move to LA cause she wanna be famous. Got another five on the side, she a waitress, but it's getting tough. Hard to find better.